Okay, so in this video, let's take a look at event bindings and methods. Okay, so we're going to be creating a simple text field here, um, which enables us to add more to do's to our application. So first of all, um, let's clear up all these um, clutter here. So let's clean up our application a little bit. We're going to remove the P tag here. And we are going to remove the message here as well. So underneath here, we're going to create another P tag and an input element there. And um, it's going to be a type of text. It's going to be bound to um, using the V model property. It's going to be bound to to do text. So we need to create a to do text um, property in our data here. Property. So to do text, we're going to set it to empty at first. And next, what we have to do is um, link this um, input text field here so that anytime we press enter after inputting some text there, it's going to create another to do for us. So, v, um, so Vue.js provides something called V on, and it's a way to attach event handlers to elements. So we're going to say V on key up anytime your key has gone up. And um, if it's an enter button that you pressed on your keyboard, we're going to call some event handler on our Vue.js instance. In this case, let's call it create to do. Okay, so let's um, create that here. So we're gonna we can add that um, event handler onto our Vue.js instance inside of a property called methods, and this um, Vue.js provides for you. So you just override it and then put in your event handler there, and it has to be a function and um, it won't take any arguments and this function all it has to do is um, add that new text um, that you entered into the text field into this list of to do's here so first let's grab that text create a new um, variable called var let's say to do text equals to this dot so if you remember we um, link that this to do text property here to this input field here okay so um, let's grab that. So we say this dot to do text. That's how we grab it, and then we're going to trim it to make sure that um it's not empty. So if it's empty, um this trim here will be an empty string. So let's just check that um it's not empty. If to do text, so that is if it's not empty, then we say this dot to dos. So we're grabbing this list of to dos here dot push. So since it's an array, we can call push on it and we push an object there and the object will have a property of title and the title um, value will be to do text. So then we finally we just set this dot to do text to an empty string. Okay, so we'll save that and go back to our browser. Close this um, inspector here, refresh. And now when we type, um, let's just say to do number six, and I press enter as you can see we have to do number six added here okay so that was um, pretty simple enough so now let's add another event handler that when we are um, entering stuff here in this input field that when we press escape that it clears it for us so v dot on key up dot escape so esc that's um, how you capture escape so we say um, clear to do so let's create a clear to do method in the list of methods here. So after create to do, let's just say clear to do. It's going to be a function with no arguments. So we just say this dot um, to do text equals to an empty string. Okay. So I'll just showcase that here. Refresh the browser. Let's say new to do. When I press escape, it just and clears it. So let's just type in some random thing there, escape, and it's um, cleared for us automatically. So now that we have shown um, how to handle event um, for things like pressing enter and escape, let's see how we can handle for clicks. Okay, so let's create a button here. We're going to just um, create a simple counter incrementer. So let's create a simple button. So what's going to happen is that when we click on the button, our counter um, is going to be increased. So let's just um, give the button a value of increase count and um, let's handle for on click. So as you guess, V on click equal to increase counter. 
that's going to be the method that we're going to um, have to call so let's um, create that here increase counter but uh, which counter are we going to increase we have not um, created a property for that here so let's just say count and we're going to be the initial value of one okay so let's go on top of the bottle here uh, button actually and just say count equal to and then we bind to that count property so um, instead of say increase counter let's just say count so before we um, actually implement this function here let me just show you that by default count should be one so count equals to one now let's make sure that when we click on this count is incremented by one so as you can see right now it doesn't do anything because there is no implementation inside of this function here so all we need to do is grab the value of count so we say this dot count equal to this dot count plus one okay that's simple enough so now we refresh the browser anytime i click this now count should be incremented by one as you can see count is being incremented okay guys so that does it for um event bindings and methods um and that brings us to the end of this video i thank you for watching i will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye